Hello, you beautiful gods and goddesses. This is Tawanda Van Celestial Earth Goddess, and today the Divine Feminine would like to give you a message for the key to your success. Now, we're going to use the mythical goddess tarot, and I just happen to have the eight coins tattoo tarot above it. Um, I just like the image of this ten of cups, so I figured I would just also tie this tie that in to the message as well because I feel like we all want a ten of cups in our life now the overall theme is the six of earth which is success and whatever that is to you you know that's what that represents so now we go to Lilith that's the first card uh, major arcana four which is power now Lilith represents what's normally the emperor which is very appropriate because Lilith is a strong, powerful, independent, feminine energy. Um, she's very fiery, which is why Aries is in this card. And you see the big sun behind her. That represents solar plexus energy, which is our core, where we get our courage, our confidence, what motivates us to go after what we want. So because we're standing in our power, now we go to the eight of earth, which is nurturance. We, which means that we understand it is important for us to take care of ourselves as well as others. Cause if you don't take care of yourself, then you're no good to anybody. So that's what you have to do first. And normally that would be the eight of pentacles, which is about putting in that work, mastering your craft. In this case, what you're mastering is you. You're mastering the craft of your inner self and your outer self. So you're making sure you you do a lot of self-care so you can be the best person you can be. Now, with this self-care, we go to four of C's, desire. Now, this is normally the four of cups. And this is the moon in cancer, which is a good thing because this is cancer. This is cancer being at home because it is ruled by the moon. Now, in this deck, this is this particular goddess represents us being tapped into our emotional selves, honoring how we feel and expressing it in a what's the word I'm looking for? Expressing it in a in a balanced way. That's not the word I want, but that'll work. Um, so because we're tapped into our emotions and we know our feelings we also know what we want and we'll be able to draw it to us because that's how moon energy works moon is a receptive feminine energy it's naturally a dark energy and it also you know some people say you know the light comes from the reflection of the sun i see it as being that the moon energy is receptive it draws light from the sun the sun and the moon know how to work together that's masculine and feminine energy at its finest and we could really um, learn from how the moon and the sun work together. But And as you can see in her hand, she has one of the pearls, which represents the pearl of wisdom. Being able to uh, assess your intuition, tap into it, understand it, and know how to use it to apply it to your life so your life can be successful. And in doing this, now we go to Mary Magdalene, which is card number 15, Initiation. Now, usually in tarot, this is the devil. Because, you know, it's Capricorn energy. Anything with horns always gets um, called the devil in most cases. Now, the devil isn't, ain't necessarily a bad card. It just depends on what end of the spectrum you're on. But in this case, this is about initiation of what I would say is the human you with the divine you. Because in order for you to be tapped into the divine outside of you, you have to understand and know your own divinity, which unfortunately some religions don't teach you. They think you're supposed to look for it outside of you. No, you got to go within first. So you can be fully in touch and in tune with your divinity. And I feel like the human and the divine need to become one. And that's how we can navigate this, this school of life. 
Because, you know, some people try to say earth is hell. No, you're hell. Um, I've even heard somebody say earth is a ghetto planet. No, motherfucker, you ghetto. Don't blame Mother Earth for your bullshit, okay? Because if you don't want to be here, she will gladly kick your ass off. Just saying. Had to throw that in there. But anyway, back to the reading. Uh, but yes, if you do all these things, you will reach whatever success is to you in your life. Nobody can tell you what success is for you. They can only speak for themselves. There's no one way to be successful. There's no right or wrong because it's your life and you here to live it. So as Jill, Cotts, Jill Scott says, live it like it's golden, baby. Until next time, you beautiful gods and goddesses, I bid you adieu.